to Skinny and Woodworking, where we are building a better tomorrow. Today we are building a hat rack. We will show you how. Here's what we need. A sander and a saw. A one by four. Some shaker pad. Charlotte, tell them we need glue. We need glue time. A router, some air protection, and safety glasses. I got glue. And a drill. But we are using a drill press, so you can use either one. Let's get started. Now we're going to mark the board at 16 inches. Charlotte, can I please have that tape measure? Thank you. We're going to use the miter saw to cut our board to length. You could also use a circular saw if you don't have a miter saw. Hey, wait, don't forget your safety gear. Oh, thanks, Claire. Safety first. Now it's time to mark the spot for the peg. Now we are going to round the edges with a router. It helps to practice on a piece of scrap wood before you start. Now we're going to sand it down with 120 grit paper. Now that we've sanded, it's time to put glue in the holes for the pegs so we can stick the pegs in. It's better to have too much glue than too little glue. Yep, it, just a little bit. It's good to have a paper towel to wipe off excess glue. That's good. All right, Anna's turn. Charlotte, you help Anna. Help me. Okay. Now it's time to stick the peg in. Charlotte, Charlotte, help me. Okay. Kids, uh, what we're going to do now is prepare to mount the coat rack or uh, hat rack. 
So what I'm going to do is take my tape measure and I'm going to measure about an inch and a quarter from each end and make a mark. Now, I've taken a uh, small drill bit and I'm just going to draw a pilot hole here uh, for a screw. Alright, I've set a 3 8 Forster bit into the drill press and I've lined everything up, set the depth. And so now we're just going to drill a, uh, uh, the top of the hole out uh, big enough for the head of a screw to fit in and for the plug itself. In, but don't push them in too tight. Now we are going to apply a coat of lacquer, but make sure you put a piece of cardboard under your work piece when you spray your lacquer so you don't get it on your work piece. Good. When you finish with the lacquer, celebrate, celebrate with a nice cold drink. <laughs> <laughs>